Bralita. <laughs> what are you doing to my frog? Help me. Look, Katie, you've got plenty of toys. Can't you just leave my frog alone? Sure, Steve. Bye, Frogolita. For now. <laughs> Look at me. I'm J. Edgar Hoover. Steve, I just came from Mrs. Gross's class, and you're not going to bo... Am I interrupting something? <laughs> oh, no. No, nothing. <laughs> yeah. Did my mom bail me out or what? More like sold you out. Either you do the dissection or you fail. Oh, man, I guess I really am going to get an F. This is a disaster. Now, tell me, Steve, what's the big deal about this dreaded F? Well, if I get an F, I can't go to a good college, which will ruin my future. Yeah, look at me. Last year I got an F in history. This year, I am history. Oh, my friend. I never meant to cause you so much trouble. Hey, kiddo, how's it going? It's not. Oh, Steve, I know things look lousy right now. But believe me, it is always darkest before dawn. Marty, where am I? The last thing I recall, I was seated on the Davenport when the moon fell out of the sky. Look, don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. We're taking you to a vet. Don't bother. It's all over for me. No, don't say that. Everything will be all right. That's the last thing I remember hearing. <laughs> Stephen, you've been good to me. You've shown me a world no frog has ever seen. Now I want to help you. When I die, I want you to dissect me. No, no, I can't. You're my friend. Oh, but you must. And when you're done, I want my eyes to go to the sightless, my lungs to the breathless, and my heart, oh, my heart belongs to the theater. <laughs> Rose. Bud. Wiser. <laughs> Hey, frog boy, you're a tad late. You mean a tad pole. Miss <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gross, yes. I've decided to dissect my frog after all. Oh, what made you change your mind? Well, I really didn't want to, but he died last night. I am so sorry. Oh, I think sissy boy's gonna cry. He's <laughs> not a sissy boy. He's just sad. <laughs> if Jordan and Cruz are crying, it must be cool. It's the real deal. You obviously cared a great deal about him, Steve, so if you'd rather, you can write a paper on the pros and cons of animal experimentation. You mean I don't have to dissect my frog? No, you don't. Oh. Oh. Excuse me, I've got to, uh, go to the, um... Uh. Bathroom. Bathroom. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> Man, I thought you were dead. No. Unlike the New Yorker magazine, I am very much alive. <laughs> I faked my death. You were willing to be dissected just so I wouldn't fail my class? I'm sure you would have done the same for me. <sighs> yeah, right, I will. <laughs> The important thing is, is that you're alive, and Steve's yeah. not gonna get enough. Tonight we celebrate. Yes. Hey, I'll meet you guys after I finish my paper. It's like it's just me and you, Froggy. Frog's not defective, and he's alive. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah! <laughs> there go my two best friends. I really should get out more. <laughs> Sir, I have a serious question. Is dissection right or wrong? Well, there's no easy answer to that. Many say it's cruelty to animals, while, on the other hand, some of humanity's most important medical advances have come from it. So what you're saying is you don't know? Yes. Life is not like some TV sitcom where everything is neatly wrapped up in 20 minutes, <laughs> followed by some meaningless blather over the closing credits. I guess we'll never find out the answer. I'm afraid not. It's one of the mysteries of the universe, like, what's the meaning of life? And. Why do bad things happen to good people? And 
Why do black olives come in cans, but green olives come in glass jars? So you can see if they're stuffed with pimentos or cheese. Really? Uh-huh. Very good, Marty. We've been pondering that one for eons. As a reward, I have a treat for you. But I thought you hated this one. You gotta learn to live a little, kid. Look, Ma. No hands! Ribbit. Ribbit.